Hi folks, Max from HCC1Root.com for this week's ROM of the Week. Check out Liquid Smooth ROM both for the M7 and the M8. I'll let me go ahead and show you with one of them here. Um, they're pretty much exactly the same ROM, um, just for the different uh, HTC one. Uh, I think that it is available for all the HTC one. Um, I should have the list of it on my site, so check that out uh, before installation. And I uh, really like it. Um, you get the latest Android 4.4.4. Um, everything working pretty fast out of the box. I really like this ROM. Um, I have it running on a couple of my other devices. Uh, one of the things I really like is that Liquid Team was able to um, bring out a uh, customizable USP ROM fairly quickly on the latest Android 4.4.4. Um, so you get everything working out of the box. Also, the camera works great. Everything works um, nice and flawless there. Very fast camera, video working very well. And there we go. And also the front camera working, should be working just fine. There we go. Take photos myself, or video. So very good stuff. Um, I really like it. Let me go ahead and walk you through all of the customizations now, one thing I prefer AOSP ROMs over Google Play Edition ROMs uh, is the fact that there's customization. Um, so let me go ahead and go over some of those. Uh, for those of you new to uh, these type of ROMs, uh, if you go in settings, um, you'll find all the notif um, not notifications, all the customization you can do. Um, let's go over the interface here. Uh, app circle sidebar, this is pretty neat. Um, it's sort of like Pi Control. Um, you can add all of your favorite apps. Uh, and what happens is anytime you want to use it, just click on the right edge of the screen and you'll be able to scroll um, all of your apps and just launch it very easily there. So nice feature, I really like that one. Um, also clock widget, custom density, you can change the density of your phone to run it uh, in custom DPI or maybe even tablet mode. Um, you can play with that, but I'm not going to show you how to do it um, since it's takes a little bit of time and I have to reboot. Also gesture anywhere. Um, when you activate this, you'll be able to add your favorite gestures. Um, you know, let's say uh, you wanna launch the calculator uh, when you do C, ah, there we go. Um, then you should be able to uh, launch, launch it. And I believe, oops, there we go. All right, I believe, there we go. You just have to use the edge here. Just click on the edge, and then you'll be able to easily launch uh, the calculator there. So very nice stuff. Gesture Anywhere can get you a lot of um, good shortcuts. Also, Power Menu, of course, here. Uh, you'll be able to add screenshots, Pi Controls, uh, some more stuff there. Um, that's for your Power Menu, for those of you who don't know. Um, so if I did add screenshot, I'll be able to easily screenshot with my power button. Progress bar, this is just your progress bar. You can actually customize it. Um, also, recent panel here. Um, you can kind of uh, customize your recent button here. Um, that's your recent bar there. So you can change the style if you want to. Now you should have a slightly different looking. Um, there we go. So I can go ahead and swipe away. Uh, if you don't like that, then you can go ahead and switch it back. So very nice stuff. Some additional options you can play with there. And let's go into Shake Events. Uh, this is sort of fun. I really like this one. Um, I like having my torch when you uh, shake it horizontally. So if I shake it horizontally, that will turn the torch on. Shake it again. Um, turn it off. Now, when you're if you use your phone uh, with the car phone holder on your car, um, you know, it may launch the, um, the shake event. So, you know, depending on what you're using, what kind of phone holder you're using, uh, you may want to turn it off when uh, driving. You can, I believe you can also add that uh, under the quick settings here as a button. So you can quickly turn it off. Um, that was the interface lock screen stuff. Um, here's, I like to customize it. I like to set a slider shortcuts. Um, set all of these to different application I use often, such as the camera, Gmail, all that good stuff. Um, you can set up to eight, and easily you'll be able to launch your camera very, very easily. So very nice stuff there. 
Um, you know, not uh, the, the the thing that's missing with Google Play Edition is all these custom shortcuts. I mean, it's very useful. Um, also, slider torch. Um, this one is basically holding down on the bar here, and that will turn on your flash. You see that? There we go. Um, also, let's actually go back here. Battery round ring, battery status. These will all show you the battery status. You can see there, uh, which is nice. Lock screen rotation. I like leaving it on. Um, this will allow you to have uh, rotating lock screen, which is like sometimes you're using your phone like this and you want to unlock it. You know, why don't manufacturers put that in the phone? Um, notification lock screen notification. I love these. Um, enable these. And you'll be able to see your notification um, straight from here and go straight uh, to whatever was um, notifying you. And some miscellaneous options, but uh, this is one of my favorite options. Uh, also, active display. I don't use this much. This is similar, sort of similar to um, lock suite notifications. Uh, Halo floating notifications. Um, that's uh, nice also, but uh, I, I, I actually prefer hover. Um, you can go ahead and activate it like this uh, if you want to. Now when you get notifications, uh, it will show up here and then when you click on the notification, uh, we'll see in a bit if I do get some notifications here, uh, and you'll be able to launch it um, with, without closing your current app. So that's what Hover is. You can play around with that. Uh, navigation, of course, you can add a ton more buttons. Um, don't stick with the three. Add, you know, custom applications that you like to use. You can add camera. Um, you can add your Gmail or Google Maps. Um, all right, you can add up to five for this one. Additional um, shortcuts you can add with ring targets. This is nice. Uh, when you go over the home button from the bottom here, you'll see this targets. Right now, it's set to um, the default Google search there. Uh, but you can also set custom apps for this also, which is very, very nice. It's like having additional buttons that's hiding. Um, you know, you may want to put stuff that you don't want people to see or something and put it down here. Um, you can, I believe, add up to uh, five or six, but uh, you can add a lot. So that, that's very, very nice. Um, so many ways um, you can customize and also you can change the navigation height. You can make it smaller. That'll give you a bigger screen. Um, you can even change the width if you want to. Um, navigation, pretty good stuff. A performance menu. Uh, make sure you hit allow here. I believe there is no custom kernel on this one. Um, but if you go to CPU parameters, you'll be able to see it there. Uh, but it is forced closing for some reason. Oh, no, no it's, it's working fine. It's set at 2.265. Oh, sorry. This one is actually overclockable. Um, you should be able to overclock it easily to about 2.5 gigahertz, well, 2.4. I wouldn't go beyond that too much. Um, also, don't set the government to performance. Um, set it to on demand or interactive. And also, there's some other governors here. Uh, Wheatley is very nice. I like that too. You can play around with it, see which one gives you the best performance and battery life. Um, so, kernel tweaker is there. Very nice stuff, and I just overclocked my phone. Um, I think it also exists for the M7. Let's take a quick look for those of you. And I did notice um, on some of my other Android devices that this was also the case that you know they uh, the ROM itself comes uh, with a tweak kernel. So in this case also um, it does come, but this I don't think it has overclocking there. Um, so the M8 version does have overclocking, which is very nice. So you should be able to overclock it very easily. Um, status bar here, uh, brightness control, ta double taps to sleep, notification count, brightness control, brightness control. Uh, yeah, double tap to sleep, and notification count. When you get uh, emails or Facebook uh, updates and stuff, it'll show you actual number of uh, updates you have. Traffic bar monitor, this is pretty interesting. It will show you how many bits uh, per second um, you're actually using on the internet. If you're on a limited uh, plan, that could help you uh, limit how much data you, 
you use, or at least watch. A notification drawer, this is where you can um, customize your quick settings here, add all of your favorite buttons. Um, so very nice stuff. You got uh, screen recording, screen timeout, a shake events like I was telling you earlier. And you can move these around very easily. Um, so very nice way to customize your quick settings there. Um, there's also additional stuff you can do. Um, this is why I like quick pull down. I like to set it to the right. So the right side will give you the settings. Left side will give you notifications. Also, you can enable a smart pull down. Now, it will only show you the notification when there is. Otherwise, it's just going to show you your quick toggles there. A Pi control, you can go ahead and enable Pi controls here. Um, this basically uh, additional shortcuts. But I prefer the app circle sidebar lately. Um, I think it looks really cool. Pi control, I think went all over pretty much everything. You can make everything a little bit blacker with total blackout. Um, those are pretty much all of the customizations you can do, which is far more than any Google Play Edition ROM or even a modded Google Play Edition ROM. Uh, plus, this ROM is super fast. Uh, it is based on the latest Android 4.4.4. Uh, performance, I think, is actually better on the AOSP ROMs um, in my testings in the last week uh, with various different phones. Um, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM week. It also does have a bunch of wallpapers if you want it. I know some of you are sort of big into that. Um, you can go to Liquid Wallpapers and get a bunch of uh, free wallpapers. Just choose a different category. Some of these are empty, but uh, most of these uh, will have some wallpapers. Oops, we got cut off there. Anyway, overall, this ROM, I really love it. Running on several of my other devices, uh, Liquid a Smooth Team has been making ROMs for quite a while now. And they their latest work um, looks really, really good. And the number of customization, Android 4.4.4, performance and battery life, um, you can't beat this right now, I think. So definitely check it out for this week's ROM week. And do let me know what you think. Again, it is available for most of the ACC1 uh, models. I'll have the different models you can use on my site, so check it out. And I will see you guys soon, as always. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at hcc1root.com um, so you can get ROM of the Week updates. And I will see you guys soon.